Hey everybody, today we're making chicken cacciatore in a stock pot on the stove. And it's very simple, it's got a lot of delicious ingredients and you're gonna love it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What did the hot dog say to his friend who caught up to him and passed him in a race? Wow, I relish the fact that you mustered the strength to catch up with me. Here's the chicken we're using, some organic chicken thighs that are boneless and skinless. We're gonna add a coating to this of some flour. I'm using Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour, but any flour will work. And we're gonna season it up with a little salt and garlic powder. Give that a stir to mix everything in, and now we can start coating our chicken. You just want a light coating here, so just turn it over and dip it in and then shake off any excess. And then place your chicken on a clean plate. I'm gonna go ahead and coat each piece. And you know what this is gonna do when you're making your dish is this flour addition is, is going to thicken up your sauce. Not to mention season up the chicken a bit. Before we brown up these thighs though, we're gonna prepare some onions, mushrooms, and bell peppers. You really want a nice super fine dice like I have here for all these vegetables. These are the mushrooms and these are the bell peppers. I wanted to mention something about fruits and vegetables when you buy them at the grocery store. You can always verify that they're organic by looking at the sticker and you see the number here, it needs to start with a nine. If it starts with the number four, then it's conventional. And if it starts with the number eight, it is GMO. We're also gonna add to this some nicely minced garlic. So a press seems to work the best. You just put it in there and press it out just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. All right, we're ready to brown up our chicken. I've got a large cast iron pan here over medium high heat and I'm adding some olive oil to this. As this gets hot, give it a swirl. Swirl that oil all around so you coat the bottom of the pan. When it just starts to smoke, go ahead and lay a thigh in there, away from yourself. Once you get all the pieces in the pan, just let them sit and cook. We're just searing this for like four minutes and then we'll flip them over. This does spatter a bit, so feel free to use a grease guard. They work great. We'll cook these another four minutes until they get nice and brown, and then we'll place them in our stock pot. These are done now, so I'll put them in the pot, and then we'll cook up the second batch. Once you're done cooking the chicken, you're gonna notice a lot of bits left in the bottom of your pan, and you would like that because that's gonna give your dish a lot of flavor. So I'm adding a little more olive oil to this because the mushrooms really absorb it. So what I'm gonna do here is add the onions, the mushrooms, and the bell peppers. I'm gonna saute this for about 10 minutes, stirring frequently. During that last minute of cooking, go ahead and add the garlic. Cook this for one minute, and then we're gonna add this whole mixture to the chicken. Mm, with that garlic in there, this smells so delicious. Now all we have to do is add a bunch of ingredients to our pot, starting with chicken broth. Next is some white wine, some Sauvignon Blanc. And don't forget, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description. Next is a little bit of brandy, some tomato paste. Here are the spices I'm using in this. First in is the marjoram. Here's the dried thyme. And some salt, of course, to bring out the flavor. And last but not least is our bay leaf. I'll give that a stir the best I can, and then we're going to bring this to a boil. Once we get that to a nice little boil, we're gonna lower the heat, cover it, and cook it for one hour. When the chicken cacciatore is about done, you're gonna wanna serve this over something like pasta or rice, or today I'm using polenta. This is already cooked, so it's very easy to prepare. All we have to do is slice it up, and then I'm going to heat up my cast iron pan, add a little olive oil and butter, and we're gonna fry this up and what we're gonna end up with is a nice crispy edge and nice and creamy on the inside. You're gonna love this. I'm gonna cook these three or four minutes per side and take them out, place them onto a paper towel covered sheet just to absorb some of the oil and they're ready to go. Here's how I serve this up. I place them into a dish, preferably a bowl, and then we'll top it with our chicken cacciatore. And I'm telling you, it's dynamite. And then of course you wanna make sure you get a little bit extra sauce in there cause it's so good. Oh, and there's one final touch. I've got some basil leaves here and I'm chopping it up and we drizzle that right over the top. I don't know about you, but I get hungry every time I watch this. If you'd like to have a delicious dessert to go along with your chicken cacciatore, then try my chocolate pudding fluff. 
Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to it. It's delicious. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment, of course. I always love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.